Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, we made it through another dungeon, and we got a bunch of lore dropped on us from Grovile, basically telling us that he's the good guy, and Dusnor and Dialga are not the good guy, which, you know what, makes sense. So that's what we're going to be going with for the time being. I want to store a lot of items, because we do not have a ton of room to work with here. I'm keeping that. Uh, Warp Seed isn't really needed. Petcha Berry's kind of useless. We don't really need all these apples. Like, yeah, sure, apples can be useful, but that many, it's just like, eh, it's a bit much. Um, Don't need that one either. All right, I think that'll call it good. We still have quite the full treasure bag, but I think we have plenty of open room to move on. So let's get going gonna have Grovall going with us, so we're going to be a bit more safe than usual. However, we also need to protect him as well. You seem to be finally prepared. Let's go then. We'll find Celebi and return to the past. Let's go. Oh wait, hold on. What is it? If the three of us manage to go back to our world, Grovall, will you keep stealing the time gears like you were doing before? Well, yes, I will. Otherwise, the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. But I... Grova, I'm not convinced yet. I don't completely trust you. I'm only traveling with you because I want to go back to our world. If we go back, Grova, I'll find out if you really are stealing those time gears to prevent the planet's paralysis. Grova, if I decide that you're wrong for stealing the time gears, I'm going to stop you, Grova. Hmm. Do as you will, but keep this in mind. What's important now is getting ourselves safely back to your world. So for the time being, focus on getting back home. Let's go. Alrighty. I feel it. I've, I'm sensing something strange. Hmm? What is it, Trico? I just know it. I felt something like this before. It was... That's it. It was when... Oh, here we get it. Here we go. A bunch of flashbacks. We've already read this dialogue once. You know the sensation he's feeling. We all know the sensation he's feeling. The game just has to point it out more obviously. I thought so. This is similar to the, to the sensation I had back then. Hey, what are you doing? Hurry. Let's hurry, Trico. All right, so if you were wondering previously... Oh, okay. We've been followed. If you were previously wondering what Explorers of Darkness meant, because of course, Explorer of Sky, or Explorers of Time, time's been prevalent in the entire game. But up to this point, we haven't seen very much darkness. This is what the darkness means. This is a lot of orbs. Also, we actually finally have color in one of these uh, dungeons, which is surprising seeing how the planet is paralyzed. I'm not sure why there's color. We also have Groval on our team, who has, who is level 46, and he's actually a real team. No, he's not. We can't look at his moves. Uh, we do know he has Dig, though, from before. I want to say he might have Leaf Blade. Not 100% sure, though. That's just, uh, that's just a stretch from me. He probably has Absorber, you know. Probably a lot of the same moves we have, you know, considering. But I digress. Uh, Grova will basically be able to destroy anything in this dungeon. And looks like we're gonna have a few more Ghost types. I should save Aerial Ace, actually. Wait. That's right, they have Spite. I don't have any more Aerial Aces. Oh. Yeah. Spite will immediately get rid of all the PP of the move you lose la used last, and it, it is the bane of this entire game. Like, someone uses Spite on you four times, you're done. You're dead. You're not going to make it through that dungeon. There's no way. You'll just have to, like, scapegoat all of your partners into doing it if you've lost all of your PP. So, yeah. Take care in this dungeon against what you moves you use against Miss Magius. I'm going to make sure my partners don't use any moves, so if I have to... Uh, I can rely on them to take out any more Pokemon after Miss Magius drains me of everything I have. Not the funnest thing. Ooh, a jump bluff. Also, this is once again going to be a really sucky dungeon if you're a water type. Uh, there just seems to be a grass type dungeon around every single corner. Even in the dead future, there's going to be grass types for some reason. I don't know. Also, that just did 100 damage and this dude's still standing. Get out of here. 585 experience, that's crazy. I imagine we'll probably be able to go to the dojo and get, like, tons of experience from some of the later later uh, floors. Oh, 
Now we have Groval fighting one. Yeah, Groval, despite his level, he's not going to be, like, destroying everything like you think he would. He's honestly probably around our power level. I'm not sure if we can see his stats in any way. No, we can't. We can literally only look at his status. So, no. Although I'd imagine... Ooh, Brian, that'd be really good if you're a water type. It'll do double damage if the enemy's below half HP. Very good for bosses if you've whittled them down a bit. But uh, other than that, it has really low... It has fairly low accuracy and really low PP mount. It's just really good for bosses. That's about it. I guess the one consolation you have if you're a water type going into this dungeon is you could find Brian. Also, another pure seed. We'll probably use those sometime. I just, I'm, I don't know if I want to save them for like a later, longer dungeon, or if I just want to use them. And I'm thinking I should probably save them because we're going to be going into dungeons that are like 25 floors at a time and stuff like that. So that might be the point where we want to use all these pure seeds to, you know, get through the dungeon without dying of hunger or something like that. Oh, that's right. I used all my aerial aces. Uh, Evie, you want to take care of that? Or you want to get hit with a... What looks like a ghost-type hidden power. Interesting. Oh yeah, single tackle, it's done. 670 experience, good lord. Well-earned level up. I just realized we're almost at the level to where we would be evolving into a septile normally. That's kind of crazy. Another Ornberry, of course I'll take it. And that's a bit of a short dungeon. So what do we got here? Is this... Is Celebi supposed to be here? That's right. It was around here that I met her the last time. But if Primal Dialga knows of this place, Celebi will have fled from here. If this place isn't known to our pursuers, however, then Celebi should still be here. Hello? Celebi? It's me, Grovile. Reveal yourself if you're here. She's not coming out. Do you think that she got chased off by Primal Dialga? What if... What if she's been captured by Promal Dialga? Captured? Ah, who said that? But now, I don't hear anything. That voice, was I just hearing things? Teehee, you didn't imagine it. Me? Captured? How insulting. Captured? Impossible, that's for sure. And here we have... Celebi. Been too long, my dear Grovile. Yes, it has been a while, Celebi. What? That tiny thing is Celebi? Now that is downright rude. How inappropriate to poke fun at my petite proportions. Uh, I'm sorry. I was told you have the ability to cross time, so I imagined you to be an awe-inspiring Pokemon. How uncouth. Never judge someone by appearance. But, I forgive you. After all... You must find me cuter and more special than you imagined. Well, yeah. Celebi, I need your help again. I know. Seeing you back here, my dear Grovile, tells me everything I need to know. You're back because you failed in your mission in the past, yes? Ugh. Yes, it's true. I hope you manage this time. I've, qu I've quite had enough of this. Living in the darkness and dreary world is so depressing. Sorry, no time to chat. The Sableye are tracking us. If we don't leave soon, we'll have brought trouble to you. Teehee. It's quite fine. There's no need to be worried. Let those Sableye come. They're no concern to me. Besides, if you would be so kind as to prevent the planet's paralysis, we'll finally be spared the agony of this world of darkness. My dear Grovile, I will devote my whole life to achieve that end. All right. Where's the passage of time? It's ready. It's nearby. The passage of time is on a plateau above this forest. That's good. Can you guide us? Yes. Are all three of you taking the passage of time? Yeah, that's right. Oh, what's this? Your friend. What? What? No, that can't be. Is something the matter, Celebi? No, it's nothing. Well then, shall we? Off to the passage of time. Alright, so with that we get yet another partner. Say, Grovile. So what's the passage of time? The passage of time is a portal that Celebi uses to travel through time. 
It's a secret corridor that spans dimensions. For short trips, I can travel through time all by myself. But for big trips that span many generations, I must use the passage of time. Oh, so if we were to go through the passage of time... Yes, you'll be able to return to your time. Oh, I see it! Alrighty. Another dungeon yet awaits us. There's the entrance that leads up to the plateau. The passage of time is way up there. Good. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Alrighty. So we have another storage thing. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use it again because we have a whole bunch of items that we really don't need. Um, cute box for sure. Brian's going to be good cell fodder. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in the pure seeds. Where's the other one? Yeah, go ahead and put in the pure seeds because I honestly think they're going to be better used for some other time. We still have a ton of items. Like, obviously, we there we must not need all this, right? Like, we have a ton of apples, first off. Um, we won't need a transfer orb. Geopebble's probably not too important. We don't need all of these orange berries, and I don't want to use them all if we die. So, I think that'll do it. What's up? Hi, hi, so listen. This is just a little secret. Did you know that Groval is really impatient and hasty? I know that he wants to hurry, but I do wish he would slow down a bit a little. It would sure make me happier if he did. I want to spend as much time as I can with him. Ooh. Uh, oh. That's not how I meant it at all. Not at all. I don't have any special feelings for him or anything. Yeah, that's a shiny Selby. Uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> Just, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. Here it is. Good. We're leaving. We must make our way to the passage of time. Let's go. All right, so let's get continuing. We have four party members now, along with a Celebi that's level 45. Watch out for Agron. Whoa, they actually talk about our surroundings like that? Interesting. Yeah, that tackle's not gonna do much to an Agron, sorry to say. Although we, mm, oh, I don't like that. You stay away from my little Eevee, you meanie. Lord. Um, Celebi has Magical Leaf, that's the only, <laughs> that's the only move I really remember from it. Other than that, I'm not quite sure of her moveset. Maybe we'll get to show it off, but it'll be hard getting her to fight an enemy, seeing how she fights so far back. I'm gonna start throwing some items, because we, we just have too many of them. That's the way it is. Uh, Mega Drain. Uh, so this will actually not be the worst dungeon to be a water type in, mainly because there's a lot of rock types, a lot of steel types. And, uh, water's going to be the... Oh, I guess fire would be good, too. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't really matter. We got Torment, which isn't that good. Uh, basically, it just forces the opponent to use... Uh, physical moves? Or am I wrong? Also, we have False Swipe, which really does not have a use in this game. Uh, because you're not, like, catching Pokemon. Oh, it stops them from using the last move to use. So that could be really good if you're fighting a boss and they use, like, a super powerful move. But other than that, eh, you know. You know how it is. Tackle's not going to do much. No, we're pretty strong compared to a lot of these Pokemon in here. I doubt we'll have problems anytime soon. Especially since we have Grovile. Let's, uh... Oh. That's right. Uh, these boys can knock you out in one hit. I don't know why Celebi just used Ancient Power. She's dead. Oh my god, that is not fun. Celebi has Magical Leaf. I know she has it. Yeesh. If anyone dies here, keep in mind, you will go back to the beginning of the dungeon. She survived with 1 HP, and Rock Blast is indeed a move that can one-shot you. Be very wary of it. Wow, Aerial Ace still didn't even do that much. I mean, it's more than Pound, I guess. Ah, uh, I'm gonna look for a Pokemon that I can use Mega Drain on soon. Oh boy, that's a Steelix. Goodbye. I'll go ahead and heal that off. Yep, Grovile does have Leaf Blade. Sadly, a move that we cannot learn if we're not evolved. And he used Sandstorm. Okay, that's not a fun move that I wanted to deal with. And that's one annoying thing is just if any enemy uses... Oh, also, since we're a party of four, that dialogue scrolling is going to take a ton longer than it would normally. Not very fun. Ugh, I really just do not like weather. It'd be It'd probably be fun to get, like to assemble a weather-oriented team in this game, but you would have to do it in post-game because there's... I mean, unless you're like a Bulbasaur, 
or something that could make use of the sun. You know, you wouldn't have... I guess sunlight would be the best to go with since you'd probably have like at least either a fire type or a grass type and uh, solar beam will get use out of it. And fire types, of course, will be stronger. Wide slash, there's that wide slash. Not a terrible move. Um, I don't think I'm going to teach it because I don't have too much of a reason to, but it is a good move and the option is there if you want it. It's one of the very few generic moves introduced in this game that are actually not too bad because a uh, vacuum cut is also not a move that's actually in Pokemon. It was made just for this game. So you could have an early way of hitting all the enemies in this room and in, in a room. However, it is of course not too powerful in response to that. So just as a heads up, wide slash is good. Vacuum cut is a no, no. Uh, I guess if you really just wanted something that could hit a monster house, sure, go for it. I don't like that. I'm going to use agility. <laughs> That'll actually speed up our entire team too. Except it doesn't reach all the way back to our Celebi. And boom, now I'm as fast as you. What are you going to do about it? I hate how, like, they don't move with you on your first move. Oh, he's going to rock polish again. All right. Fair enough. Uh, die. Please. Thank you. Nope. There we go. Our pound almost does as much as our regular attack there. Oh, that's right. We have to wait for Celebi because she's always normal speed. Yeah, that only affects Pokemon in the room, and when you're in a hallway, that only extends two spaces away from you, so that's not going to reach our back party member, sadly. But if we're in a room, then we're set. Except that's also not going to use work for a monster house, because monster houses, she's going to be way too far back. So whatever, I guess. Oh, wow, Leafeon only gives 140 experience? That's so weird with how they did- oh, whoops. With how they decided to, like, dole out experience in this game. Because, like, an Aggron's going to give out 500. Leafeon's going to give out, what, 140? Like, that's insane. Huge disparity there. And also, the uh, difference between the speed me and Eevee grow levels is really becoming obvious. With how she's, she, like, she got her level up a good while ago, and we just now got ours. Um, sure, why not? Might as well check out this room, get the free experience. And I don't think, uh... Yeah, Grovile and Celebi don't level up. They're just here for the ride, so... Don't worry about leveling them up there. Not too important currently. Alright, just a little bit more. There we go. Oh, come on. So that's, uh, that's a trap that's gonna turn one of your food items, or maybe multiple food items, into grimy food. Not very fun, as you could probably tell. Also, this is re getting really pretty. Why are you using Ancient Power on a Rock type? You're a Grass type. Use your Grass type moves. Yeesh. For Pokemon that are, like, saving the world, you'd think they'd be a little smarter. Not the case. Sadly. I don't know if they really even start with any IQ moves, or if it's just like they're just like a generic any other Pokemon that's joined you or something. Because that's what it's seeming like for sure. Alright, we'll go to the right. It has to be over here. Free money. Uh, eat a stick. Big damage. It's actually doing more than a gravel rock now, so that's good. 750 experience. That's insane. They're just giving more and more as we move onwards. Also, this appears to be a fairly long... What what has Sandstorm? Or what has the ability to make a Sandstorm? Are there Tyranitar here? I don't really know. I don't recall there being any Pokemon that creates Sandstorms automatically. Dragon Claw? Oh my god. You know what? I want to say I'm pretty sure Trico can learn that. Although I'm not sure. Um, no. Trico cannot learn it. I think Groval... Or, uh... Grovile or Sceptile can, or maybe that wasn't even around back then. Because, of course, now nowadays, Sceptile has a, uh, a Dragon-type Mega Evolution, but I'm not sure if it could learn Dragon-type moves back when this game came out. Okay, first of all, Rude. Eat a stick. I think it, I'm glad it did not use that move again. Also, look at that. Grovile also has a Mega Drain, so that's nice. Oh, come on, that needs to stop happening. That's why I put those pure seeds away. That can affect your seeds as well. And if it gets like a reviver seed or something like that, you're not gonna be a happy camper, for sure. Oh, oh, we're getting hungry for sure. It's 
getting enraged. Oh, wow. Uh, I do not have as many Mega Drains as I'd like to have in this situation. I'm going to use a couple of Agilities, honestly. Um, we have Gravel Rocks. I'm actually going to let Eevee do the attacking here. And I'm going to throw Gravel Rocks just to preserve my PP for later. Because this is not fun. I'm increasing its attack power. Uh-oh. It could probably one-shot. Uh, oh. Please knock it out. Oh my god, Eevee. Holy moly. Yeah, Rage will increase its attack power every time you hit it. Not very fun. Good lord. A little different from the uh, mainline games in that way. The mainline games, of course, you just attacked with increasing power automatically every move, every turn. And uh, your attack power would indeed increase if they hit you back. Which, to computer-controlled AI, would always happen. Yeah, I'd like to save my Mega Drains for the Pokemon it would one-shot. If I possibly could. Um... You can throw gravel rocks through walls. Cool. It's just gonna harden, you know what? Better for me. Uh, Grovile, if you could quick attack, that'd be pretty dang cool. Or not. That's fine. Also, one thing I want to make clear. Moves that are special will not go through your team members. So say if, like, Celebi tried to use Magical Leaf, it would not go through Grovile and me. However, physical moves that, that hit from far away, like quick attack, will do that. So just a heads up. Uh, I do not want that Orenberry. Do we do we not have any more apples? It grimy fooded all of our apples. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to play around that in that case. Alright, uh, we have a blast seed. Alright, I'm gonna eat a grimy food. Hopefully it doesn't warp me. Yeah, I just lowered all of my attack. Good. That's a good start. Oh, there's hip hop attack or uh hip howd on here. That's why there's a sandstorm. That makes sense, at least. Also, this is one of the longer dungeons. I'm not enjoying my low low PP count. This is my last Mega Drain. We have three grass types. You'd think we'd, I wouldn't be the one running out of PP here. Uh, if at all possible, I would like to keep Grovile right on top of me instead of Eevee, to be honest. Oh, that's going to one-shot. Goodbye. I'm glad we get the experiences if they knock them out. Because I want to say there was a game in the series that wouldn't do that. If a Pokemon was a temporary party member, it wouldn't automat it wouldn't give you experience if they knocked him out. More pure seeds, loving it, loving it. If you could get like 20, that's an instant like dungeon, getting through a dungeon. All right, so we found the passage of time. Is that the passage of time? That's right. That's the passage of time. Uh, is it the passage of time? I'm not sure yet. Went through that to go to the past. Celebi, only you can open the passage of time. Do your thing. Sure. Stop there. That will do. What? That voice. It, it can't be. Hello to you all. It's been a while. Dusnor. Dusnor. Your scurrying carried you far. But sad to say, that's all over now. <laughs> Did I activate Siri? I activated Siri with something I said. The Sableye too. Humph. That's crafty, Dustnor. You allowed us to roam free, but you kept your eye on us the whole time. So you could capture Celebi as well as us. What? So you mean we were followed the whole time? Hmm. I didn't see this coming. It's all my fault, Celebi. Oh? Apologies don't suit your style, my dear Grovile. And do you honestly think that I can be caught, Tihi? Everyone, are you ready to fight? What? Of course. We're going to power our way through. We'll push them aside, then dive into the passage of time. Got it. Ha, so you resist? Spare yourself the effort. I have no choice. You have no chance of succeeding. We won't know for sure until we try. Dusnor, you and me, now! Grovile, are you really such a fool to think that I'd come alone? W what? Now, Master Dialga. Wah! It turned pitch black. Wah! That... 
That's... Grovile. What is it? What is that? That's... Primal Dialga. What? That is? That's Primal Dialga? What's wrong, Grovile? Where's your bravado now? Ugh. My dear Grovile. Ugh. This... is it for us. What? Why? Aren't we going to fight? It's hopeless. Dustnor on his own is one thing, but we don't stand a chance against Dialga. You two have kept up so well. I'm sorry to let you down. This is where it ends. But... I surrender, Dustnor. Do with me as you will. My, my dear Grovile! What's the matter, Grovile? It's not like you to give up so easily. Yes, I'm giving up. But hope is still alive. Celebi, you remember. That last time, when I traveled back in time to prevent the planet's paralysis, I wasn't alone. There was another. What? Grovile, you didn't come to our world by yourself? That's right. I had a partner. We headed to the past together. But when we were going through the passage of time, we had trouble. We became separated. My partner should still be back in the world of the past. Even if I am eliminated, my partner will see our mission through to the end. My partner will prevent the planet's paralysis. Ha! Ha ha ha! What's... what's so funny? Ha. Huh. So you claim someone went through the past with you. Incidentally, what's the name of your partner? Go on, say the name. Why ask such a thing? Can't tell me. No, that's not true. My partner's name is Trico. My best friend. What? W what? Grovile, did you say Trico? Well, this is Trico right here. What? Your... Trico? This is where my naming convention, where I name all my players as the Pokemon they are, is a little weird. No, it can't be. It isn't. The Trico I know isn't a Pokemon. The Trico that I know is a human. What? Hoo-hoo-ha! Precisely. My good fellow Grovile, that is unmistakably your friend Trico. What? That Pokemon you see was once a human. What? Master Dialga has, had given me a mission. It was to get rid of you, Grovile, and Trico. Because you fled to the past. I traveled through time in pursuit of you both. In the past, I gathered intelligence that might help me find you. And at one point, I met Team Leafaboost. Hello there. You're from the guild, if I'm not mistaken. We've read this before once again. We work at the guild. We're pleased to meet you. But at that point, I suspected nothing. My partner here just happened to see it in a dream. Excuse me? A dream, you say? By a dream, what do you mean? When they mentioned the dimensional scream, I was skeptical at first. But then an idea began to, sh began to sh take shape in my mind. And... Yes, with the memory of a name. And the memory of being a human before that. I beg your pardon? Human? So a former human, with no memories, a human that possessed the dimensional scream. I became convinced then. You are... you said you know your name, at least. And that name would be... Trico told the name to Desnor. Ah, I see. Trico. Does that name ring a bell? No. It means nothing to me, unfortunately. Uh, what? Did I just see the faintest... Did Dusnor just hide the faintest of smiles? Or did I imagine that? There was no doubt. This Trico was the very one that I had been seeking. So that Trico developed amnesia and was transformed into a Pokemon, which must be because of your accident during your time travel. Well, Trico's memory loss was a lucky stroke for me. After all, your partner failed to recognize who I am. It was quite easy to win over your partner's trust. It was also easy to drag them into the future when the time came. Uh, Dusnor really was lying. Which left you, Dust Grovile. The last part of the job to finish. I was a human from the future? And I was Grovile's partner on a mission to prevent the planet's paralysis? And that's how I ended up in Eevee's world? Grovile and Trico, with the both of you here... Everything will end when we finally dispose of you. 
that will finally put an end to Groval's glimmer of hope. Everything ends. Everything ends for you. Ah, Dusnor. No. Dusnor. Ha, have you finally come to terms with your fate? Grovile. Trico. We shall be rid of you all for all time. This is the end. For you. Ugh. Hey, Trico. Grovile. We can't give up. Gah. You say not to give up. But what can we possibly do in this bleak situation? We have to think. I know. Celebi. Can your time travel ability transport us to the short distance into the passage of time? It won't be easy with Dialga here. Dialga is the temporal Pokemon. It controls time itself. Even if I can make us travel in time, he'll have no trouble exposing it. Even a little will do. Please. Attack. Wehe. Time to travel. Wehe. They v vanished? Master Dialga. Ah, our time traveling path has been shattered. There they are. We got so close to the passage of time. Dive in now, you can make it. Now, into the passage of time. What about you, Celebi? Don't fret over me. I told you, I can't be caught. Stop the planet's paralysis. Change history. Thanks. Thank you, Celebi. You're not getting away. Gah. Wah! And that does it. That was a huge lore drop, and one of the reasons I really love this game is that it really draws in all of the tiny different scenes that you wouldn't expect anything from and puts it together to add like really good plot twists and everything. Though I don't like how it has to point out every little scene that's led up to it, I would have rather them have the player infer that on themselves. But whatever. In the next episode, we get back to the present. See you all then, and goodbye.